Welcome back. I'm Dan. And I'm Nathan. And we're here today to finish up our ma a Python mapping series on taking Craigslist iPhone prices and putting them on a map. We're going to use Google Maps to do this and a package called Boca rather than actually drawing the map by hand like the one behind us. That's a, indeed. So let's let's get to it. So here I'll open up my uh, my Jupyter notebook, and I've already written out what the the libraries that we're going to need to import. The main ones that I'll mention here are um, from Boca.io. You need to import show, and in this case, we're just going to output to a an HTML file, and then from Boca.models, we need a few things, uh, a few objects, namely the the G plot, the GMAP plot. GMAP options, column data source, circle, data data range 1D, pan tool, wheel zoom tool, and box select tool. So we'll go ahead and run that. We'll get around to what each of those are as we come across them as well. So don't worry about them all in one big giant blob right now. Yeah, so if you recall, uh, in a previous video, we saved all of the data we collected from Craigslist into a CSV file. So I'm just going to go ahead and load that right now by typing df zero equals pd dot read csv and uh this is also uh the data that we cleaned in our last video um so it it took out all the extreme data points like prices that happen to be seven digits like a phone number or happen to be like zero dollars um so yeah so one thing we'll do when we import the CSV is specify an index column um, because when Pandas creates a data frame, if you don't specify an index, it just gives a, an index starting from zero up to the number of rows you have. Um, and so when we reload it, we just need to tell it that that's an index column and not actually real data. Um, and then we'll take that DF0 object we've created and do a group by on it. And so we'll group by the column city, and then what we'll do is we'll take a mean on that. Because all we all we really need for each single city is one actual mean price. We don't want to put circles for every single price that we found. We just care about the mean. So then we'll we'll put df add, and you can take a quick peek at what this data frame or that that group by object looks like. Um, so you can see it's grouped by cities, and it's taken the prices of that city group and average them and put that in, the, in this new price column. And then it's got uh, the lat long listed. So now we have something that we can, that we can map, which is kind of cool. Perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is set, uh, set some map options. And this is where our actual uh, Boca stuff starts coming in. Um, our map options for this one are going to start off with mainly latitude and longitude and then what kind of map that we want to do, and also how zoomed in it is. Since we're doing Google Maps, we actually use those little notches on the zoom bar um, that you see in some versions of Google Maps. We're going to start with zoom 3 with some odd latitude and longitude, which happen to be roughly the center um, after playing around with these numbers a bit of the U.S. And this zoom also includes uh, our two non-continental states, Alaska and Hawaii, and then of course the map type is road map for now. Um, other values of this could be things like uh, satellite maps and the uh, terrain map, I believe. Um, I don't know which other exact ones there are. Fantastic. We'll set the zoom level to three in this case because that that seems like it works pretty pretty well. Um, so for Google Maps, again, we, we did a previous video about this, but you're going to need an API key. Um, so we'll just, we've set that as an environmental variable. And the way to access that is os.environ. And that's just, um, the, it's just a Python dictionary object. Um, and so we'll set that API key. You want to keep that secret, keep that safe. Um, to I think uh, for this specific API, we, we, we're only allowed to ping it 25,000 times a day. So if you do that, make that public, you'll quickly run out of those numbers. But otherwise, for a single person, you probably aren't going to quite hit that range. Yeah. So let's instantiate our, um, our Boca object. 
So we do a, a plot equals gmap plot. This is just telling Boca what type of, type of plot it actually is. Boca actually is, has quite a range of different styles of plots, um, but right now we're just using the gmap plot. And we're going to start off with an X range and a Y range for this GMAP plot. This is where we're actually using the imported data range 1D. These give it a nice square shape, um, give it our map options that we set earlier, and then give it our API key that we set earlier. And that right. does the whole instant, that creates the whole basic plot uh, for GMAP. Right, and so last we will do, we need to add some tools to the plot. <clears throat> so Boca is, is an HTML plotting tool, so it'll actually make a full interactive uh, plot, as you'll see when we get to the results here. But these tools, you, there's a whole assortment of tools, but we're just going to do the basic three, pan, wheel zoom, and box select tool. Uh, these three tools let you basically move around the map after it's actually been created. Fat fingers there. All right, um, there. So that that works. <clears throat> so the next is we sort of have to set um, kind of the ranges for what and how big we want um, each of these um, polygons or these these objects, these um, markers, I guess. What are they called in Boca? Um, We're just putting circles for ours specifically. Glyphs. Um, they, they call them glyphs. Um, right. right. So, so we'll do a baseline, we'll set that equal to um, the, basically we'll take the price column <clears throat> of the data frame and we'll just pull out the min, the minimum, and we'll just subtract, we'll subtract one. Basically what we're doing here is we're setting it so that the smallest price is actually our smallest dot. Otherwise, we, with our data range, all of them being in the hundreds and two hundreds, all the circles would be fairly decent, fairly equal in size. Whereas now, our lowest price is going to be our smallest circle, which is going to be almost a dot. Whereas our largest circle will be actually our largest price, rather than them all being roughly the same diameter. Yeah. So well, so one of the things that Boca, um, the the type of data that it likes to work with is a is an object called a column data source. And in this case, we're going to be feeding it a dictionary of um, of our lats, our latitudes, our longitudes, and then the radiuses that we want for each point. And so that's what I'm writing out here right now. So basically, um, uh, yeah, let me let me finish writing so, that out. So we're eventually going to add some glyphs, and each of these glyphs are going to be a single circle. Um, and for each of these circles, we need to give it a latitude and a longitude, which are basically its X and our Y coordinates, and then a radius for the actual circle. Um, and basically, we're setting up the data type so that when we get to the point of creating these glyphs, we know we can just give it the straight up dictionary um, in this column format that will the plot will actually be able to determine what it exactly should look like. df for i in df price and this radius right here what we're doing is just some simple scaling so that for each price that we have we're take which is i we're minusing the baseline and then dividing by a scale so that um, the circles aren't all extremely large or extremely small that's what the scale value is those scales for different size numbers you might have to play around with each time 2.5 is just what i felt like fit correctly after playing around with it a bit okay yeah i just had a little uh, attribute error there when i tried to run it um for whatever reason this version of pandas i have has a different method for a series versus a data frame so i needed to get rid of an underscore there to get that thing to work um so next we'll we'll um define our our uh, circle object. 
So, so the circle object, we're basically going to be taking, telling it what each single circle is actually looking for inside the dictionary to actually use when it makes a circle. Um, and we're going to be x equals longitude from our dictionary that we just created, y is equal to our latitude from our dictionary, size, which is a radius for a circle, is going to be our rate, rad, from before. And then if you wanted to, you could even put a color in for all the call in your dictionary, but we're just going to have them all be blue, and we're going to also make them semi-transparent, which is a, a fill alpha. Alpha is like your transparency, and we're going to make them 50% uh, alpha, so 0.5 here. Um, and then we'll we'll take that plot object we instantiated earlier, and we'll use the add glyph method, and we'll specify um, the source that column data source object that we uh, created above, and then this circle um, object that um, that we instantiate in this particular routine. So there you have a glyph renderer, and it gives you some sort of unique ID there. And now we're ready to actually show. If all went well, if we we set this up correctly, we should be able to see a um, see a map here. <clears throat> so we'll do output file. We'll give that a name, and then we'll do a show plot. And there you go. You got it. You have a map um, with all sorts of. Well, dots all, the, all over. Yeah, with that all over the place. So we can, um, should be able to zoom in. If I could take the, select this wheel zoom. And you can start to zoom in and um, take a peek at, you know, let's say, you could see the difference in the price of iPhones in Salt Lake City versus the, versus the price of iPhones on the West Coast. So if you're looking for an iPhone, Salt Lake City is the place to to peek, Perfect. to take a peek. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys and gals enjoyed this series. We had fun doing it. Learned a lot. Join us next time when we uh, start a new project. Fantastic. Thanks, guys and gals. Don't forget to hit subscribe. <laughs>